We're here with Sean Lee with, at Roseville Raceway 2.0, and Roseville Raceway 2.0 has been here about a year and a half. Um, uh, it had some basic landscaping when we did the first uh, first interview with Sean, uh, but he's added a lot since then. So just tell us a little bit about what you've added. So I've always been into landscaping and model car racing, and I was fortunate enough to find a guy uh, back east that does some of the scale work. So as you can tell, the grandstands with some of the little people, uh, the sponsorships, uh, hunt and seek, and I found these barriers put those sponsorships on. And the last neat addition to me, I think, is the uh, the pits. So I uh, incorporated them with the cars and the pit crew, the big items there. So is, is it done now, or is this just constantly something you're gonna be keeping, you're gonna be updating? Uh, always updating, yeah. Next little thing is going to like make the barriers a little more authentic, paint them, add some more people, and then uh, get something else down the road. And I did notice on the straightaway leading onto the backstretch, there's no tape on it now. There was tape on the on the outside, which the, my car would hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim Rose had a little trouble with that, so we, in honor of him, we made a little billboard for Jim. Uh, tell us a little bit about the race program that you run here. We, we run every other Tuesday night. Uh, we average anywhere from 8 to about 13 people. Um, we do qualifying for 30 seconds. Then after that, uh, we'll grid it. Usually we do the main C, B, and A with transfers, although... Yep. Sometimes we're gonna, we mix them up, just do a round robin, just to keep things fresh. That's a little unique for for a race program, even especially on a Tuesday night, where we actually qualify, run mains with move ups. Is that the is that the format you like? Yeah, I always think it's good. Just the fact that you can usually the better drivers, and you know, qualifying is qualifying. Some people can get lucky, but I like you have to earn your way up to the top. And I don't always get there, but it's nice to watch them. And what type, what type of cars are we running tonight? Tonight we're running uh, Tyco 440 X2s. It's a special class actually Jim and I developed. I did a little modification. So we uh, have stock motor magnets, took out the traction and just added brass weights. So it's a little harder to drive, but that's the whole idea. And tonight looks like there's gonna be a pretty good crowd with people coming from the Bay Area. Correct. Are you, are you gonna kick their ass? <laughs> uh, I'm going to have fun with them. How's that? This is Larry Stevens, friend of mine. Races 130 second cars. Got a big, show me a big yellow bumper in the back there. That's right. He's a rookie tonight. <laughs> so how do you think he'll do tonight? You're a good driver. When I get a rhythm and concentrate, I, I, can, I can hang right in there with anybody most of the time. So we'll see what happens. Have you ever run an HO car before? Well, years ago when I was a kid, you know, but just playing on the small tracks, Tyco tracks and stuff. Well, good luck tonight, Thank you. and uh, we'll see how you do, how you do with all the Bay Area guys and all the Sacramento guys. All right, hope you have a great time. Larry, this is your first HO qualifying run. How are you feeling about this? <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> see uh, what happens? Just a little. Just because, a little. Because Jim's going to put it on the internet and everyone can see. I don't care. <laughs> I, they've seen a lot of. Things on the internet about me all the time. I think we've all been embarrassed. We did it at one point or another. Yeah. I checked the screen again. Oh, okay. I stand for that light. Oh, it's time to check and black. Check and black. Oh, all right. Good job. Good job, Bruce. Over. Yeah, Bruce. Nice practice. Right. Nice. the top three from tonight's race. Uh, one of the first times we've had uh, the Bay Area and Sacramento guys together here at uh, Roseville Raceway. And the winner, Bruce Douglas. How'd the, how'd the race go, Bruce? I managed to not screw it up. <laughs> you, avoided the you, kicked, you kicked their ass, Bruce. <laughs> mm, I don't know about that. I avoided getting blank kicked. Yeah, but tough class. These, these cars are easy to make mistakes with. You came out on top. Congratulations, Bruce. Thank you. Top, Bruce. Yay. Ken Stevens brought his awesome set of IROC 4 GTs with TFX chassis. Ken has put stronger magnets in them, and they stick like glue, and they're fun to race. Sean has put together a spectacular track and one of the best racing programs in the country. The racers in the Sacramento area are lucky to have Sean and Roseville Raceway.